Hello, Technology Crazy here, and today we're going to be doing some more batch programming. We're going to be doing episode 3 in the batch series. Uh, if you haven't seen episode 1 or 2, I would definitely suggest uh, going to check it out. The links are on the screen as well as in the description. We cover all the basics of it as well as some of the concepts we're going to be using today, so definitely go and check that out. Anyways, I guess that's all, so please uh, sit back and enjoy, and I hope you guys learn a lot. Okay, so today we're going to be learning tons of things, uh, but before I start, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be upgrading my microphone, so it's going to be a quite a big jump for me. Uh, it's going to be about $200, and it's the Blue Spark, so it's top-notch uh, for YouTubers, and I'm really excited about it, so please leave your comments below. It's a beautiful mic. Uh, basically, I just want to hear what you guys think about it, but anyways, let's continue on with the video. Okay, so today's lesson is going to be really fun. We're going to start off with how to create text files and save text into files. And then we're going to be using all our knowledge as well as a few more things uh, to create a master program. And basically, this master program will have a menu and everything. And it will be able to create passwords as well as check passwords. So it's going to be really fun. Uh, let's start off with how to create text documents. So let's edit our um, our, uh, our bat file right here. And let's start with at echo off, just like that. Get rid of all that unnecessary text. Then uh, we're going to start off with something that might seem very elementary, um, echo high and pause. Basically, all this will do is write high on the screen and then pause. We've done that before. It's very similar to writing a document. Uh, all you have to do is do the greater than sign and then name the document you want to save uh, this little piece of text in. So it's going to be echo telling the computer there's text here, taking this and then saving it into a document. So let's do test.txt. So I'll take high and save it into text.txt. So now let's save that and run it. Sure enough, it created text or test.txt with high inside it. So now that we know that, we can actually, actually, before I go on, I want to let you uh, know um, if I rerun this, it'll actually rewrite and create the text file, which we don't necessarily want to do. Um, in some instances, you want to add uh, to the next line in the text file. Uh, to do this, all you have to do is add another greater than sign, just like that. And if we open it up, it will actually add to the next line in the text file, just like that. Uh, so in this case, we actually wanted to rewrite every single time. So we'll just have one, um, and it will just rewrite every single time. Now let's make our menu for our program. Get started on that because it's going to take us quite a while. It's a pretty big program. Um, first off, how I do menus is I just display a whole bunch of text first. Uh, so let's do that. So let's do echo, and then let's show our options. So let's do uh, create, and in practice, let's do uh, create password just like that the next one will have echo uh, let's have this one check check password and if we do echo dot it will actually skip a line and leave that one blank just to give it a little nicer look and let's pause and have a look at it so far and it gives a little blank and pauses. So uh, now we're going to be asking the user's input because we want to know which one do they want to do. Do they want to create or check? Uh, so we can do set slash p. Uh, and then this is our variable. So let's do, let's uh, call this one program, just like that. And then equals, and this is what we'll show on your screen. So what do you want to do? Question mark, colon, and space. So. Uh, now we're going to be taking that variable and using a go to command and telling it to either go to uh, the checkpoint create or uh, check. So let's do go to 2% signs and program just like that. Oops. Um, and then all we have to do is set up our two uh, flags. So let's do create another one down here called um, uh, check. Just like that. So we have our two points of our program right here. If we play it, uh, let's look at it. We have our menu, and then all you have to do is type in the one you want to do. Press enter, and it'll go to that part in the program. Uh, so let's do, start with create, because we've already worked a little bit on it. It's a, more of the easier side. Reading in a text document is much harder. Uh, so let's start off with um, asking what your password wants to be. So uh, let's do set slash p, once again, to ask the user's input. And let's store this one as password, and equals what do you want your password to be question mark and colon once again uh, so now we save that as password and now we're gonna actually be saving password to a text document so all we have to do is our echo again two percent signs and password just like that and our greater than sign and let's do test.txt 
just like that. So now it's going to save our variable or our password into the text document. After that, we can just pause and let's test it. So let's open up our master and say uh, create. And it says, what would you like your password to be? And let's change it to high. Press enter and it pauses. Uh, so let's double check. Sure enough, it said hi, so it's perfect so far. Only thing is, it didn't erase the screen, it uh, continued, we didn't really like that look. Uh, so let's add some clearing and screen um, options here. So under create, let's do CLS, which will clear the screen, and uh, let's also do that on, the, on this one too. So now if we open it up, go to create, it will clear the screen first and then ask us what our password wants to be. Um, another thing is we want to be able to go back to the menu after you're done each one of these processes. So at the very top here, let's do a flag and do uh, start. And then after create here, uh, after pause, we're going to do go to start. So go back to the start. And we'll do that one on this one after we're done that too. So now if we run it, uh, we can do create just like that. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and then what would your password like to be? I'll do Justin pressing a key to continue and it went back to the menu. Once again, it did not erase the screen. So after start, let's clear the screen again and we should be done the very first part. So create, uh, let's do hi again. And once again, we're back at the screen and we can do double check and it said hi. So that's the very first part. The second part's a little bit harder. Uh, so I'm just gonna stop the video because uh, my voice is hurting and I'll come back to you and teach you the second part. Okay, so the next bit of code here, we're actually going to be asking the user what his password or her password is, then opening up the text document, then uh, extracting all the text in that text document, saving it as a variable, and then comparing both the uh, what the user says his password is and the saved password. And if they're correct, uh, they should match, and if they're incorrect, they should not match. So first, let's ask the user what his password is. So set uh, space slash p, so you say password. Uh, let's say that as password1 equals and what is your password just like that on uh, the next line we're actually going to be opening up the text document and um, extracting the values in there so first off we're going to do four and this is using the four command using the switch slash f so four space slash f you can also copy this copy this right out of the description if you don't want to uh, follow along uh, with me right now so four space slash f space um, quotation mark and we're going to be doing uh, d E L I M S and this stands for a uh, delimiter and this is basically if you have more than one uh, value in your text document you can search through different lines and uh, different columns and stuff like that for now we just want to leave it blank because we're only working with one value in our text document so we're not gonna worry about that so just do space and leave that blank and uh, do another quotation mark next off we're gonna be doing a uh, token uh, so that means two percent signs then an a after it um, and basically that will it's a type of variable and then in and then we'll look in our text document so here we'll just type in our text document here uh, test.txt just like that and then we'll have it uh, do and then a um, bracket and two lines down we're going to do another bracket so um, it's going to do everything in between these two brackets uh, basically all we want to do here is save this variable as something we can use later on so let's do set and let's call this uh, variable text uh, to equal a just like that now we're good to go uh, text should equal whatever is in our test file now we all we have to do is compare the password one and the text and we're good to go so let's just have an if statement if um, if password one is equal to so two equal signs and uh, let's do another two percent signs uh, text um, go to correct and if it's wrong, it'll just keep on going. So over here, let's have uh, colon correct, and we'll leave that for a second. Uh, let's go to if it's wrong. So if it's wrong, it's just going to keep on going. It's not going to jump to correct. So right below here should be what is if it's incorrect. So let's do echo, you are wrong, just like that. And let's have it uh, go back to the start. So go to start, just like that. Now um, under correct, we're going to be saying echo, you are right and let's have um, actually we have to pause in here you are wrong pause go to strike because we don't we want them to be able to read that um, and once again we're gonna do pause here and uh, go to start just like that uh, so now we're, we should be good to go uh, once again all this code will be in the description if you don't want to copy it out uh, letter by letter now let's test it out here so let's create one just like that 
Uh, let's make it tech and go back here. Uh, let's check if our password is correct. Let's do tech. You are right. Uh, now we're also going to check it again, see if it's saying see something random. And it says you are wrong. So we are done. We have uh, created a, uh, a program that will be able to save your password into a text document. Once again, it's not very um, usable in the real programming because you can't have a password saved in a uh, text document, but you can have a variable or something like that, or um, some information for the user, like error logs or something like that. So I hope you guys learned a lot in this video. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe uh, to stay updated with future uh, tutorials, as well as stay around for the Pikmi program. I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Anyways, the Big Me program winner this week is Con Wise, and that's two ends. He does tech videos just like normal, and uh, he's more like a news caster, I guess. He uh, will keep you updated with all the news uh, about tech, so definitely go and check out his channel by clicking on the Click Me button on your screen. Once again, that's Con Wise with two uh, ends. And if you want to be part of the Pick Me program, all you have to do is go into my latest video, leave a comment, leave a normal comment first. Um, I would really appreciate it. I've noticed that I've got lots of Pick Me uh, comments, uh, and it's kind of got a little bored of it. But uh, just leave a normal comment and then say Pick Me, and you can say Pick Me as many times as you want, and I might pick you. Uh, so I guess that's all. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.